83 or 84 when they moved to Albertville. They came into the pharmacy at Kmart where I became their pharmacist friend and gardening buddy and all around cohort and missed you. We hiked together, went plant shopping together, and they became my second parents. Evelyn said the year I was born, 1953, that she had had a crop failure and that I was now considered an, an adopted son. Grace even calls me her stepbrother. We hiked Little River Canyon together with JL and Peggy Payne and enjoyed the great outdoors immensely. Oh, and one more thing. My first wife, Ginger, always told everyone that Evelyn Oates was the only woman she would let me go to the woods with. <laughs> Evelyn uh, and I met a dear lady, Eva, Eva Garner, who was another plant nut, and she got us interested in iris growing. And we joined the American Iris Society and became iris judges and we traveled all over Alabama and Tennessee judging iris shows. We had our home gardens on the Region 24 iris tour, and Evelyn and I worked hard together to get our yards ready for the tour. We were working in my yard one day, and a bumblebee got after us. We were both allergic to certain bee stings. So what did Evelyn do? She jumped in my pickup and locked the doors. <laughs> I never knew why she did that. She didn't explain it to me. I didn't know there was a bee that could open a door. But uh, I'll never forget the look on her face as she was sitting in my pickup grinning at me. <clears throat> I'm running around the yard avoiding the bee and it doesn't give up. I ran to the back street, tripped, and by the way, I was holding a pitchfork tripped and fell and tossed the pitchfork away from me. <clears throat> um, the bumblebee got me in the middle of my back as I lay in the street. Now we had to rush and get some Benadryl in me. And after that, I had to look at Evelyn with a little bit of distrust and suspicion. <laughs> Evelyn and I both had a beautiful yard tour and we both loved having people come to our yards and enjoy and seeing our hard work. We worked together a lot in our yards together. Evelyn helped me build a rose trellis. And as Ed has already told you, that she does not do anything halfway. Uh, I had thought we would just get some posts and put them up and get some lattice work from Lowe's or something, but no, not Evelyn. It had to be done just right. We put the post up, but then we had to cut our strips very thick out of pressure treated wood, and we wove the strips in a basket weave pattern. When it was completed, it was a 24 foot long work of art rose trellis. Evelyn never did anything halfway. Another time, Evelyn went with me to Russell, Alabama, to my grandfather's farm to get some sugar maple trees. I had moved into this house, they had 19 sweet gum trees and those balls are falling all the time. So we had all those cut down and I wanted some trees. So we went and got some sugar maple trees. Bill sort of pouted that we didn't ask him to ride along with us, but he had to stay home and mow the grass. And we had barely gotten out of sight before Bill decided to mow a ditch that he shouldn't be doing and turned the lawnmower over on himself and injured his back. We were on a trip, got the maple trees, and when we returned, there in plain sight on the garage door was a note that says, I'm in the hospital. <laughs> Evelyn turned to me and said, I bet he did that on purpose. <laughs> Another thing about Evelyn and me was that we both arranged fresh flowers for our church every Sunday. And I'm sure if you're a member of this church, you know that that was true. She did amazing arrangements every Sunday, even in the middle of the wintertime. We both had flowers that we could use in the arrangement in the middle of the wintertime. Lenten roses in December and January, daffodils in February and March. She so loved her flowers. 
Evelyn also sewed things for me. She made me a trundle bed cover that turned it into a couch and she could do anything and you better not tell her she couldn't, that she, that would just make Evelyn work that much harder to, to prove that she could. Bill and Evelyn were the kind of people that would give you the shirt off their backs. They were the salt of the earth people. They were fiercely competitive. Evelyn loved to win at bridge, uno, any game we were playing, really. In the game of life, I know that they both won. I don't know all of their children well, but I do know Wayne and Grace, and I know that they are very much like their parents. They both would do anything for you, and thankfully, they both have their parents' weird and crazy sense of humor. The Oats are some of the, my best friends. Thank you, Bill and Evelyn. My life was made richer for having known you, and I sure enjoyed the journey together. Thank y'all.